the last hope for South America. And meanwhile, this is the last chance for Alliance to prove themselves on land. Elimination awaits Kyle, and they've both been here before. Because you're going to need so many more kills than your opponents to win the game. Right. If you look at the, uh, you know, Sand King. Oh, oh top lane. Hey, P1 Hector in a little bit of trouble. He does have the fairy fire, but the last hit, is that going to be an S4? Wow. Playing the first blood, the captain of Alliance. Manages to kill that all-important carry of Beast Coast. The South American side is really going to feel pressure to make moves and find kills. They're lacking in tower damage. They're lacking in sustained damage. So you really need these lanes to go well and break out of the laning phase early, start rotating around the map. Yeah. Like, like, Lena may have got slightly nerfed, but this is still... Wait, Scofield? <laughs> what is Scofield what? doing? I think he's just keeping him here a little bit while longer. Taunting him, <laughs> goes back to the tier two. What is happening? Oh. As you can see, top two CS going the way of Alliance. Limp is winning his matchup against Chris Luck. And this has got to be a little bit concerning, Kyle, because oh, yeah. Beast Coast, they chose Alliance, right? Yeah. And uh, these lanes are not looking great. Oh, bottom. FNG, that, that cost him. Finale whoa, Pop is whoa. doing so much damage, they underestimated it. Miko Baby takes a huge chunk as FNG explodes, got and they're going to keep going. They have the Burrow Strike. They have the nice healing south to be able to tank up a few more tower hits. They just need a little bit more. Schofield's in. He takes away the healing south. And that means Nico Baby is going to need some help from FNG. But look at him, Schofield and Whisper. They don't want to let him keep a healing salve up. They're going to be able to find him behind the trees. Cut it out again. Miss out on the impale, though. And Whisper has tended a little bit too far into the Alliance Forest. They are going to be able to get a third kill now. This, this is a comfort hero for him. Yeah. He is crushing this lane. Hector getting him a little bit low against, again, a Dragonite. I'm not expecting... Hector to be so close to death against uh, a Dragonite, notoriously a very low damage hero in the laning phase, just incredibly durable, but it looks like he's using that to be able to constantly assault the top what? lane, and he's dead! Yo, K1, he's known for prioritizing his farm, surprise, he maxed Cleave. So they really no threat whatsoever in this lane with only one point they stun. They just keep on going, they're relying on the Caustic Finale to blow up Nico Baby, but instead... They just end up feeding more and more deaths. Nico Baby's going to be able to pick up that second kill on Schofield while top lane oh, top. is losing out as well. A late TP is not going to stop S4. He retreats cleanly. Chris Luck, he really wanted to get something down bottom, but you can see him. He's walking right past this ward. It, sh it showed him uh, earlier as well. And Limp just solo kills Schofield standing. Right in front of Chris Luck, and now the other support's gonna die as well as S4 will actually back out, respecting Chris Luck's TP here. They're so far ahead that they don't necessarily want to be trading. Nico Baby, he's gonna pop his ultimate and join in on the fray. He's gonna go for Stinger. Stinger is certainly dead. S4 not caught just yet as the reinforcements from Alliance are here. Limp is gonna join in on the fray, taking OG's lead when it comes to TI-9 and the coin flip, when it comes to playoffs and who they're going to be choosing. But you said that uh, Beast Coast, they apparently picked Alliance. They, they did. They were very they're confident. very confident. Well, they got to be questioning themselves now. Maybe they should have just relied on fate rather than their own decision making because now a beautiful stomp is going to be able to come in and that is another dead hero. Nine to two. Alliance just keep on heating up here. And a cold Romanian night. Uh, I, Schofield, I think he's... Another one. It's going to go for Schofield. Schofield does have the spike care pace, but Hoskin is here on the other side. He's dead, and they could probably even deny the tower if they want to. This means Alliance holds really nice control of both this mid lane because their tower is still up and top lane. They're going to go for limp here. A good opening for Schofield, but Chris Luck is a little bit too far behind to be able to capitalize off of that one. And now he's going to be caught. Nico Baby immediately joins S4 and gunning for this win ranger. A long range shot. Oh, the Earth Splitter. Just a bit shy. Whisper running interference and will give up his life to ensure that Chris Luck gets out. But it's another oh. disaster for Beast Coast. Oh, S4 almost caught Chris Luck on the end there. These supports, and even Chris Luck himself, is going to have a, a real hard time of things. And Limp, well, he now may be indestructible in these next team fights. If he does not get initiated on, which he might hear, BKB goes off first. He turns around. 
goes for Schofield. Schofield should be run down pretty easily. They're gonna pop the hot here just to see, okay, is this a kill by itself or can we get more? It's just the single pickoff. You know, you eat Spectre for lunch. Yes. You remove Dispersion, you've got so much follow-up stuns, things get really spooky. And then I'm sure Fog knows if Stinger can ever get Aghanim Scepter, all they're gonna fight the opening, they're gonna be able to get the initiation on Whisper. Alliance strikes first. Schofield. Beast Coast can't afford anybody else to get picked off right now because if they do, Alliance may be able to just gun for Roshan themselves. A pick off on Whisper isn't a big enough opening for Alliance, and they might be able to find S4 here. They're gonna stop him from being able to blink away, but he does manage to get off the BKB. He turns around and just kills Schofield right away. They're gonna go for more, actually using the Shatter's Depth to be able to jump in. They have the Orchid, but at the same time, the Strike off the Shackle Shot without the BKB, and the follow up stun is not there! Lift gets off the BKB, but the physical damage is tearing him apart. An unstoppable streak given away to Beast Coast, and they're gonna look for more. Shackle Shot just to close that distance. Echo Saber to be able to slow it down, but now with no more BKB, Hector's in trouble. Earth Splitter hits. They do manage to get a nice two man stun from Hoskin. And FNG, he wants to be able to get this battle. Turns around, gets the stun onto S4. K1 Hector dropping a a little bit low and God's strength is beginning to wave and that's an opportunity of IT hesitation they see weakness and they pounce they take down two whisper in the back line hopes to get a support they grab him next is gonna be S4 Nico baby uh oh he's low the shadow demon has got him dead to right whispers gone and all of a sudden Beast Coast off of a death of K1 Hector their primary carry from the ashes of his death they managed to they make a really nice closure longest time back inside the game though whispers going to be able to find an opening alliance is right behind him though they've already taken down whisper the two man stuns keep raining in they're going to be able to kill both whisper and Schofield. Really and nice another shot. bkb charge for K1 Hector used as well they have to be careful about where they move here you can see Alliance, they're very aware of this move. And no if, if Schofield can sneak his way around here, find an opening, that's going to be on FNG. Where's the rest of the team? They're going to go for it. Oh, they have managed to catch him through the link because they managed to get the purge on him as well. And here comes Hector. One, two, three, and Limp is knocked out. FNG is going to be up next. Nice Earth Splitter, but Alliance seem a little bit skittish about going back in as they should. No haunt on the Spectre, no reason to fight further. Confident. Like, he blink. Yules to cancel and stunned immediately. So he's just a no man's land, trusting in his team to be able to finish the kill. Oh, Whisper is in again. The rest of his team was going for Roshan, and Whisper is like, I'm going to catch somebody from Alliance scouting oh. the Roshan pit. And S4 is desperate to be able to get control of this area of the map. They're going to leave Schofield behind as he's orchided away by Nico, baby. The rest of Beast Coast coming back in, and S4, he's in pretty deep here, and he got caught. Chain stuns going out, but he managed to get the Essence Ring BKB off. Turns around. Chris Luck keeping his distance here. Whisper may be caught by this line. The chain's disabled. He may never be able to get out of this one. Maybe he does. Burrow Strike through S4. Gets a little distance. S4 charging in. Gets met with K1 Hector, and down he goes. Limp is just now back, though. The end of the mid game. Still no rush. It's 30 what? minutes in. Oh, now we do. Whoa. DD. They're gonna go for it. Double damage on Limp. A great opening for Alliance. And it's too late, Beast Coast. A power shot reveals. They're gonna go for it, baby. But the Haunt has already gone down. And S4 struck first. The Antis from Whisper is gonna be able to keep him alive. And S4 is being ripped Chris apart Luck. by Chris Luck. The damage of the Focus Fire. It doesn't matter how tanky you are or if you've got the BKB. It's Chris Luck, Wind Ranger. Single yeah. target damage is off the charts. Looking at you, Schofield. Yeah. But They've kept that mentality even after getting washed in the laning phase, so... Now it's Alliance's turn to get aggressive, though, and a big, big opening. Being able to kill this Shatter Demon opens possibilities Huge for the Spectre be able to get in. K1 Hector's already taken so much damage, he pops the BKB, but he's got the Satanic. If he can just get some swings and look at the Spectre die! Chris Lux! K1 Hector is supposed to be the carry, and he doesn't oh, actually get any hits in. Finally turns hit some neutrals for a little bit of bonus, but he's running, 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 but that's not the direction to your base. K1 oh, Hector, he is stuck in a dead end, and he is going to die here. Alliance, corral him, kill him, and now chase for more. Next up, Schofield, chain stuns very easily, a nice little cherry on top to wow. a good team fight for Alliance. And you can
can see even in the net worth, like Chris Luck like is solo killing Nico Baby, right? Yeah. Even though he's behind the net worth. Oh, there's a lion getting aggressive again and again, finding Stinger. Chris Luck teeping in late to a team fight with the Nyx Assassin who's already dead. Gold supports God and Beast Coast are out and Alliance now feeling themselves really nicely. It's also just so value now on Sven, the change. Oh, this is a very interesting position. Beast Coast is on either sides of this. They could oh. potentially sandwich here with the BKB going off from S4. There goes the Haunt. Two man stun. Potentially K1 Hector sees the opening on Nico Baby, but Nico Baby pops on. Jumps over the support. Kites out the spin beautifully. Executes Stinger. Executes Schofield. Those two are down. The scores. Okay, turn around. Course turn around. Does manage to kill off S4. Nice shackle shot. It'll give K1 Hector some time to lay some damage in. But ultimately, these two are left alone with a swarm of Alliance heroes around them. Chris Luck is going to be caught. Shackle shot at the last second will not save his life. And Hanskin, he wants a little bit more. Lions, another shadow step. Every single time, Beast Coast probably jumping out of their skin when they hear that noise. It's K1 Hector, oh. they try and get a, a blank stun off of him. Silver Edge is not going to protect him. Magic damage, throw it in, and K1 Hector is dead. There you go. Oh, oh Lions. Feel themselves. They're getting there, they're gonna find more, S4! He's here, goes up, but maybe a little bit too deep. He's got his BKB though, but the damage is coming thick and fast, and it's too much for him. He got the gem. Nice stun coming out, Burrow Strike up next, FNG. is gonna be disrupted, so he's not going anywhere. K1 and Hector is gonna find this kill, but Alliance, they're okay with this. That was a buyback from the Sven, a win condition. Clear as day. Three heroes now without buyback. Oh, instead of really holding their ground around the Roshan pit, they get into the triangle here. Alliance are going to actually read maybe they some know. of this. They're moving to the right. S4 positioning himself between his team and the rest yep. of the enemy. FNG's gonna Spirit. know. Spirit, it's Spirit. He hit so many heroes, he knows they're all here. The, the, the Honda is gonna go off. They're gonna be able to get the initiation. The bro strike goes out, but it's not actually hitting K1 Hector. He's way far away from some oh. heroes. Chris Luck is going in, but S4, look at that smart TP of his. He gets out of the team fight. K1 Hector turns around with his Satanic. He'll tough up the full. Whisper may not be so lucky though, as Hanskin, he jumps in, trying to kite around Hector. The name of the game is keeping away from the Sven, and Nico, baby, he's been tagged, he's been caught and a 1400 crit, he brings him down. But if they buy back, if they can get Kector, he's gonna have a die back here. All in on the Sven, that's the name of the game for Alliance, and they've got him, he's dead. Two minutes at Alliance. They see their opportunity. Chris Luck is up next. Nico Baby catches up to him. One per hero down. Next one coming up for Chris Luck as he's trying to get away desperately, and he just might. But Alliance, flying high over the trees, flying high over the haters, will be able to find that next kill. No buyback. Limp is just a machine gun. The Scotty pick up huge, because he's just kiting this vent. K1, Do you, you go for throne here, Kyle? Hell yeah, you go for throne. Hell yeah, you go for throne. Alliance, are they going to do it? or are they going to play conservatively? They know they've got a full minute. Whisper is looking to be able to cut the creep waves. He has to. He knows they are in such desperation right now, and they're going to make sure to punish that right away. He may have taken away the creep wave, but it will cost him his life, and that just means another hero. Backdoor protection down now. Two lanes of barracks. Alliance looks like with two, they're just going to try and go for the trifecta here and make it mega creeps, but a team fight will be ensuing. 15 seconds for the Sven. Beast Coast, if they have a hope of this, they're just gonna have to hold around Megas, it looks like. Disruption first, S4 immediately jumps on a Singer. They wanna be able to kill him, gets off the BKB again. Really well timed. Nico Baby turns to go to the Nyx Assassin. Chris Luck will be able to pick up the one on the Look Hot skin, but he's got the buyback and no limp. He does way too damage damage for Chris Luck. K1 Hector needs to be able to do so much with this God Strength, Whoa. but he may not do a damn thing. Activates the BKB, the Satanic going up, but the damage is just raining in from Limpy. He does too much. Two buybacks from Beast Coast, but they do not have the heroes to hold this one. Alliance, you want to pick us for an elimination match in a best of one. You want to try and take us down. You think we're the weak team. Alliance finally proved themselves in the hype moment. They finally proved themselves on the biggest stage. Alliance get a win in playoffs here in 2021. And there we go. This is the first time I've seen them smile all week, but they earned it.
What a what a match. They dominate the lanes. They come through in the clutch. Shout out to Limp. My man played out of his mind. Ends the game with 30,000 gold.